it's time for a shift. Somebody has snuffed out your opportunity. You were passed over. You didn't get the deal that was supposed to come through. And I am here to tell you that it is time to shift. Shift simply stands for see how I fit tomorrow today. Oh, the reason it didn't happen in the last season is because it wasn't supposed to happen. It wasn't the right relationship. It wasn't the right opportunity, and it would have taken you off course. It is often said when a tire is out of alignment, that tire must go to the tire store so that it can be in alignment. Because when it's out of alignment, it affects all the other tires. And I'm here to tell you the reason you have to shift into alignment is because how do you you live how do you operate how do you think I'm here to tell you that you are absolutely positively brilliant from the moment you were seed in your mother's womb encoded in your DNA was your brilliance dr. Howard Gardner in his research at Harvard University said that a child up until the age of four is operating at the genius level dr. Christian Mirascu who is a psychologist at Princeton University says in his research when the brain is worried the brain slows down. His same group of researchers begin to study these same children and in their early 20s only 10% were operating at the genius or what I call the brilliance level and in their late 20s early 30s only 2% were still operating at the genius or brilliance level. So the question you have like I had is where did this genius or brilliance go? It didn't go anywhere but it become buried by a society that says color within the line sit down give it back you can't do this and conformity robs you of creativity now stick with me if the brain slows down because of worry worry has a BFF called stress and stress has a first cousin called fear but I came all the way from Orlando Florida to let you know to shift the worry off of you shift the fear off of you you are not gonna be afraid anymore baby I'm telling you it's time to get up and bust a move when you show up and do what you do like nobody else because of your talent, your gift, and your ability. I am here to tell you that this is the day of shift. And I am here to tell you in a world of algorithms, autonomous cars, artificial intelligence, that everything you need to succeed at this season and as we move into a new decade is in you, baby. You got it going on. Shift your brilliance. I want you to say with me, Vuja Day. Vuja day is the opposite of deja vu means been there, done that, but Vuja day is going there, doing that. Vuja day is confirmation in your spirit about making important changes without having external validation. Uber looked at the taxi cab industry through a different lens. They said, How do we see it differently? How do we now put the power in the hand of the passenger? So the passenger can call the car to you instead of waiting for the car to show up. And because you call the car to you, you can rate the experience. I was in a taxi cab not too long ago in a major city in the Northeast and the cab driver, I got in the cab and he was just complaining about, oh my goodness, Uber is taking my business, Lyft is taking my business. And I said to myself, I see why. Because if I was a taxi, I would clean it up. I would vacuum it. I would make sure it smelled good. I would have a bowl of mints in the back of the car. When I dropped you off at your location, I would get up out of my seat, come around, open your door, give you my card and tell you the next time you need me call me it's Fushate Fushate is realizing that there will come a time when you will have to break with the old to embrace the new to let go of what is comfortable and convenient in order to grow and expand my mother used to say the way up is down now in every system within the last decade many systems have experienced a shift for example 10 years ago Eastman Kodak possessed 1,000 patents and over 18,000 employees. At the same time, 10 years ago, Instagram came on the scene, and two years later, Instagram was sold for $1 billion to Facebook and only had 13 employees. What happened to Eastman Kodak? They didn't shift, and they didn't see it. 
a number of years ago, I was working at Disney. I sensed in my heart that it was time to leave. Had two vice presidents offers to go and work at smaller companies. Had an internal move at Disney. Had a senior director position with Learjet to head up all customer care for Learjet owners in the world through a company called Flexjet. And I turned them all down. I turned them all down right when our country is going to war with Iraq for the second time. So I was called by a friend and they said, I want you to write a blog once a month inspirational blog 500 words or less I said once a month I can manage that if I write a blog 500 words uh, once a month at the end of the year that's 12 chapters in a book and so that's how I started with the book release your brilliance I decided to do the unthinkable so I cashed in my entire 401k with significant Disney stock took out a line of credit on the house and I said I want to get out here and bust this move when I wrote that book I sold it out of the back of my trunk, almost 17,000 copies, and I had received 13 rejection letters from New York and LA publishers who said no. But I didn't care because I realized I was gonna build a relationship with each reader. Well, I went and I talked to the chairman, and he said, well, I heard we need to have you, but we've never heard of you. We don't know what you do. At the end of my time with almost 400 of their leaders, he said, take a walk with me. And we walked next door. We were at Mandalay Bay in Las Vegas. We walked next door. And in a matter of 30 minutes, he introduced me to 13 of the publishers that had rejected me. And he said, we are the largest book purchaser in the world. We want you to give him a book deal. <laughs> oh my goodness because I began to understand all I had to get out was doing start walking because listen if you don't remember anything else remember relationships are the currency of the future there will never be a perfect time for you to become the person you might have been because when you arrive into tomorrow you call it today but everything that you did yesterday meets you in the future and says welcome we've been waiting for you I don't care how much we talk about Siri I don't care how much we talk about voice search I don't care how much we talk about Alexa I'm telling you relationships are the currency of the future there's a new mindset there's a new skill set and there is a new will set that must begin to emerge to go into this next decade where we are moving quicker and faster because you've always done it this way why is that important because when you're in your 20s you think you know everything when you're in your 30s you get the wind knocked out of your sail when you're in your 40s you begin to say I gotta get myself together and when you hit the 50s you're like wait a minute baby I don't have to take this anymore in other words as you move towards 50 60 and 70 you're like a better wine you get better in time so what am I gonna have to shift into Oh my goodness, it's gonna get good in a minute. At LAX, whenever a plane is taking off or landing, the pilot has to submit a flight plan to the FAA. That flight plan includes how much jet fuel is on board, alternate routes just in case the plane needs to land somewhere else, the number of passengers on the plane by name, and where they are connecting to. And what's interesting is when a plane is told, now you are ready for departure, the pilot begins to back the plane up from the gate and the gate begins, the, and, and once it, it lines up, it's not yet ready for takeoff because it must get the green light from the uh, tower to say you are now ready to take off. So many people say, I'm trying to find my purpose. I'm waiting to find my purpose. Guess what? Your purpose is, with, is to be discovered when you get up and start moving. We have often heard about the takeoff, but I started thinking, why don't people shift? And it's because they have been circling the airport of opportunity, you've been cleared for landing. And by the time your plane lands, you're not gonna be scattered brain anymore. You're not gonna be fearful anymore. By the time that plane pulls into the gate of opportunity, you're gonna walk on the concourse of a breakthrough. And as you walk on the concourse of a breakthrough, you're gonna take the escalator down the ground transportation to be exported into your destiny. So Westay, get ready, you've been cleared for landing.